Hey everybody, uh, quick topic here. Hopefully this video, it doesn't come out too long, but I get this question all the time and uh, it has to do with our classifications in our parts. For our manufacturer parts and our symbols, the classifications are essentially, they used to be hard coded. Now we can actually go in and add additional um, custom classifications. You can see the ones that are customized or, or custom classifications have a red, looks like a little uh, user next to it. Now, if it's at the top level, you can go ahead and create whatever route you want for those. So every part that is under that particular new class will always have that particular route when you add it to your component tree. So in the case of my distribution blocks, every single one will say DB, uh, grounding bar, so on and so forth. But for subclassifications right now, if I come in here and look, I have two custom subclasses that I created. In particular for my connectors, I like to organize my jacks and plugs, and maybe you have other parts that you want to organize. Well, right now, if you go in and try to change the, the properties of this and change the root from X to, let's say, CN, it's going to go ahead and change all of them, right? It's because it's they're all tied together under that same XML file for my connectors. A lot of people don't want that. I personally don't like that either. So there is a small workaround. It's not very known, um, but what you can do is actually come into the properties of the classification, particularly the subclassification. And you notice here the user data file name is connectors. Well, we can go ahead and create a new one. And we have the ability to go ahead and either copy the current properties or the default configuration. I'm gonna create a new user data configuration based off of this. And here I can come in and I can edit some of the information about this particular uh, new XML file. Maybe I want to give it a new name. In this case here, I'm just going to put my initials on there as well. And now I have this new XML file. And I'm going to give it the name of J instead of CN. Go ahead and OK. And we notice that now... I have a new XML file tied to this particular one. So my connections are going to be CN. So all my default connector symbols will be CN. Any jacks now will all automatically, anything that I have, any manufacturer parts or even symbols that I have associated to this will also be under this will come with a root of J. And I could do the same thing for P or any other subclass that I want to do it to. So I hope this was useful to help make your software more uh, aligned with what you want it to do. Um, I find I found this and I thought, hey, this is a great idea to share with everybody. So again, I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.